G'day guys. So today, we're gonna to talk about this little guy. His name's Frankie. He's a French Bulldog. He's almost four and he's been coming to the farm for about a year and a half now. And he is a true farm dog. He just wants to work, work, work and go, go, go. Even though we know he's an affectionate dog, he knows that uh, when we're at the farm, it's, it's business time and he wants to get involved in everything. One of, the, one of the key things that stands out for me, there's a few actually, but the first one is uh, for such a little dog with little legs, he is fast. He can just put that little, he's a ball of muscle, so he just puts that power to the ground uh, and he really does motor along. He, he, he keeps up with a lot of the taller dogs, uh, which is very impressive for a little dog. Um, and just a showcase of that speed and power is his jumps into the pool. He loves swimming. He didn't always, but he loves swimming now. He, he's a really competent swimmer, uh, but really impressive spring leaps from the side of the pool. He does these huge high hops. There we go, he wants to go. Let him go, there you go, mate. Um, he does these really cool hops where he just launches, pops up into, you know, really high and pops his legs in. And it's really cool to watch. He loves swimming, loves jumping in. We love watching him jump. Um, and you know it's definitely up there with with his most um, notable traits. Hello, buddy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Oh. One of the games that we play to to help him grow that confidence in the water is the big Swiss ball in the dam. Um, and you know there's a whole heap of factors that play there, but what we what we're playing on is the fact that they want to be a part of the pack. They don't want to be left behind. And so when they see Excuse me. Hey, Bagel, we're in the middle of something here, mate. Good boy, buddy. Um, when they see the rest of the pack joining in, and uh, they don't want to be left out, so when they see them swimming into the dam, uh, they're stuck on the shore, so they're, they're forced to go out of their comfort zone a little bit and take a few extra steps in, and, and that's where they start to grow the confidence and realise that there's not, you know, nothing to be... Um, scared about they can they can keep going deeper and deeper until they start swimming so you know especially Frankie he likes to compete he likes to you know be the first of the ball or or you know he likes to run quite hard so to be left on the shore he doesn't like so over time he kept getting a bit more confident a bit more confident and um, you know eventually he starts doing these massive jumps and launching into the into the water but it, it, it has it goes a lot deeper than just the exercise there's a lot of uh you know the uh social acceptance with the pack and and being a valued pack member that all plays a part in his motivation to to join in on that game and and to be competitive with that game so um you know a lot of it all transfers across to the other pools as well so now that he's confident swimmer he'll he'll jump in uh, all of our uh, pools and dams and, um, you know, gets all the benefits of swimming, especially, you know, dogs later in life. Uh, the magnesium pool is going to be great hydrotherapy for them. And so if, if they need the hydrotherapy and they've got a phobia of water or don't like swimming, you know, they, they can't really reap the benefits. But that's the, that's the main thing for us is that they all get confident in the water and then we start to see some awesome jumps like this guy, hey? A lot of power, really impressive for his body size. This is Frankie.